Day 2, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bobby. I do daily drawings and art every single day. I've been doing it since 2017. And this is day 2 of my daily YouTube challenge uh, for the month of July this year. And today we're going to talk about art style. And not necessarily in the sense of finding your style. I can make 10 different videos on that alone. But this is more personal, like specifically to me. I have been known to switch styles so so often and I feel like because of this I kind of want to talk about what has been happening recently if you follow my Instagram you'll know that I have been recently delving into a more like cartoony style that I actually really really love but I have no idea where it's gonna go yet but one of the points in this video is that I want to make it known that you don't have to know where this is going like you don't know you don't have to know the style in and out you just need to know that you like making it that's it so for example my typical work is stuff like this your art is valid like more like typography motivational type phrases that's what it's been like for about six months i want to say six months roughly um back at the beginning of 2020 near the end of 2019 I started delving back into traditional work to try and like reconnect like like personally so yeah it's been interesting now seeing this kind of stuff develop because it's totally left field I didn't think I would enjoy making stuff like this but I started doodling um, around every now and then and I started really really liking these kind of character concepts that I started coming up with I started realizing that hey, I like this, and I kind of want to explore it more. And so then I created... I don't need to find this. I have a lot of art, okay? Don't judge. I don't even know it's, if it's in this pile. Got it. Okay, <laughs> that took a while. Anyway, um, I started doing this little doodle a while ago and I really loved it and it, it, it looks like something straight out of like Cartoon Network or like someone uh, on my Instagram or multiple people across my social media mentioned that it kind of looks like something straight out of like Phineas and Ferb and I, and I kind of agree like it, it really does but that led me down like another thing I'm like well what if I do create characters like what if I do and so I decided to explore that a little bit more and ended up creating more little guys like this. And I, I absolutely love these two. I feel like they can be part of like the same story or universe, kind of. And like, honestly, there's there could be something in this. So today, just recently, or just recently today, I created a, another doodle kind of in the same style because i've been really enjoying it is this little guy don't know what he is but i like it so yeah with all that being said i kind of wanted to just like take a second to just say i don't i feel like because of my line work and all that kind of stuff it kind of fits in like one little bubble but like within that bubble are are vastly different interests and I think that's okay you know you don't want to limit yourself because that's how you just ultimately run dry on ideas and inspiration and motivation to do stuff so yeah I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about the experience of creating these little doodles that I have been because I think it's an interesting insight into like art style and all that kind of stuff and I don't think this is gonna be a long video so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wrap it up here pretty quickly um, but yeah if you are wondering about like switching styles or like art style in general I just want to say it right now just lay it right here and it right here it's okay to switch it's it's perfectly okay and Rick I would say depending on your scenario recommended like this is getting into a whole nother topic of switching art styles art style how do you develop one and which I can make that um, but yeah I think it is if you are bored with what you're doing right now it's important to keep that excitement up because if not you're just gonna burn out and crash so experiment 
try new things and make art. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up. If you have any questions regarding uh, this kind of style that I've been doing, let me know. Drop it in a comment. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Uh, DM me on TikTok as well. Because I will be more than happy to kind of talk about art. Because that's, that's, that's me. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed. Day two was fun. A very easy recording session compared to yesterday. I got it out late yesterday. But hopefully that won't happen again. Although I'm sure it will. I'm still counting these late ones because I'm still posting on the day. Yeah. See you tomorrow for day three.